guys. Um, Professor Kerrigan, hello. Everybody else who might be watching this, who probably aren't that many because my YouTube channel gets like zero views, but hi for everyone else. I'm Janae Sargent, and this is for my self-portrait project for Bill Kerrigan's Intro to Digital Imaging class for Spring 2013. Um, excuse the pajamas and wet hair and no makeup and probably kind of funky voice because I have swollen lymph nodes because I'm kind of sick. Um, but it's Sunday morning and this is a self-portrait project, so I figured that rather than do up and get all pretty and stuff, you know, you just see me for who I am. And I really didn't want to put makeup on today because it's Sunday. Anyways, um, for Bill Kerrigan, you already know what's going to follow. Hi. For everybody else, this video is going to have five images that I shot, and I will be narrating each one of them. Um, they're kind of a little piece of me, and I kind of put them in chronological order somewhat. Some can't really be put in chronic chronological order, but you'll see. Anyways, so sit tight, and my images will begin in a few seconds. I'll stop talking very soon, but thank you for watching and enjoy! This is a photo that I took the other day in my dorm room. Um, it's with my mirror. I wrote all over it with lipstick and Sharpie marker. This is not how I feel now, but it's a huge piece of who I was for about the first 15 to 16 years of my life. Um, I used to have really low self-esteem. I actually struggled with an eating disorder and several other self-harm issues. I don't feel this way anymore, and I'm certainly not proud of it, but it was just such a huge part of the girl that I was growing up, and it led me, as you'll see in a couple slides to come, to a place where I recovered from a lot of these issues and more, and I think it has a lot to do with my self-confidence that I feel now and how I feel about people loving their bodies and how much I love my body. Um, so, yeah, this is my first photo. This photo is of my first year recovery coin that I got in AA. I go to AA. Uh, I've been going since I was 15. I will actually have three years on March 23rd. Yay! Um, I got in, not just for my problems with drugs and alcohol, but as I said in my last slide, you know, my eating disorder and how much I hated myself, and AA and therapy has completely changed my life. I did it with my dad, and, um, I don't preach about AA because I don't believe that everyone needs AA at all, but the way it makes you feel about yourself and how it treats you to just love life. I think it completely changed who I am, and it is a giant part of who I am today. I actually carry this coin around with me every day in my pocket, and whenever things get a little stressful, I just rub it, because it's really cool, and because it's really smooth, and it's blue, and it's pretty, and my dad got it for me. And so, yeah, this is my one-year AA birthday coin. This is a self-portrait that I did my junior year, I believe. I know you said no taking pictures of ourselves, but since I drew this, I figured I could take a picture of it and it wouldn't really count the same. Because it's not just that it's a picture of me. Um, I think it really captures my spirit. I believe in laughing at life. I think it's the only way to get through a lot of the things that we have to get through. And I don't know. I just really love this picture. And I obviously I love it because I keep it with me. And now I'm here in college. I look at it and it reminds me that, you know, not to not to take life so seriously, just to laugh things off, because they're going to pass. And eventually, everything that you think is bad now, you're going to at least smile a little bit about in the future. Aww. This is another piece I did. I did this one, actually, this year. Um, you can't really see the piece that well, but I thought it was a lot more interesting to shoot it from this angle, and I got to work with a little bit of depth of field, which is really nice. Um, it was my first time working with color, and I really love it. I uh, melted crayons. To create the splatter but the reason that I have this one up here is because I wrote dream on it because I mean I don't really want to get that philosophical with this project but that's another thing that I really believe in um, I always say I reserve the right to escape into my fantasies whenever life gets too hard and I don't think there's anything wrong with dreaming big because I personally think that 
if I don't think that I can do anything, no one else is going to. So I have to set those standards for myself and believe that I can reach whatever I want to. And the rest of the world is just going to have to follow. If they don't, that's their problem. And I still think I can do anything. So I don't know. That's kind of what this piece meant for me. And that's why I included it in this project. So this last photo that I included is of me, well it's actually of my friend because I was taking a photo and I can't really take a photo of my own hands, but they are pretending to write in my journal. And it's not a journal like most people keep where they just write their thoughts about the day. This is full of my poems, my narratives, my short stories, basically anything that comes to mind. I keep it with me in my purse so that whenever inspiration hits me I can just jot it down. I'm a pretty passionate writer. I have been for all of my life, actually. Um, I have a few narratives published in some journals since I've been here. Um, I'm minoring in creative writing, but eventually I think it would be amazing to make a living off of my writing. And as I said in my picture before, I think that that's very possible because I dream big. Um, it's just such a big piece of me. Creativeness in general is a giant piece of me. The whole math and science thing, I, I don't think critically, I think creatively, and I'm personally really proud of that. So, this is a giant piece of me, my writing. Hello again! So, that was my self-portrait project. Um, I'm kind of an open book. I like to talk about myself and the things I've been through a lot. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And it wasn't too long. I tend to babble a little bit, in case you can't tell. But um, thank you for watching my self-portrait project, and I hope you all have busy days!